decontaminate your gear by opening the decontamination kit. Tap the mitt to activate it, wipe off your hand, put on the mitt, and then wipe down your weapon, helmet, load bearing equipment, and mass carrier. Gently place your non-essential equipment nearby. Split into teams of two. Buddy 1 removes the chemical agent detector paper from Buddy 2's overgarment. Buddy 1 unties the bow in Buddy 2's retention cord if it's tied. Buddy 1 unfastens the webbing strip snap at the bottom front of Buddy 2's coat and releases the coat retention cord loop at the waist. Buddy 1 loosens the bottom of the coat by pulling the material away from Buddy 2's body, making sure not to touch inside of the coat. Buddy 1 unfastens and loosely refastens the hook and pile fasteners at Buddy 2's wrists and ankles. Buddy 1 unfastens or cuts the fasteners on Buddy 2's overboots. Buddy 1 instructs Buddy 2 to decontaminate his own gloves using an equipment decontamination system. Buddy 1 instructs Buddy 2 to place two fingers, thumb and forefinger, on his own voice emitter to ensure mask-to-face integrity. Buddy 1 uses an equipment decontamination system to wipe Buddy 2's eye lens outserts from the top down. After wiping Buddy 2's mask and hood, Buddy 1 should wipe their gloves in preparation for rolling Buddy 2's hood. Buddy 2 locates the suspender snap couplers on the outside of his coat and releases them. Then Buddy 1 unties Buddy 2's draw cord, presses the barrel lock release, and unsnaps the barrel lock. Buddy 1 starts from the rear and forms a fist behind Buddy 2's head. Buddy 1 pulls Buddy 2's hood back towards Buddy 1's fist. Buddy 1 ensures the hood is turned inside out. Buddy 1 unfastens Buddy 2's front closure flap and pulls the slide fastener down from the chin to the bottom of the coat. Buddy 1 instructs Buddy 2 to turn around. Buddy 1 instructs Buddy 2 to make a fist to prevent the chemical protective gloves from coming off. Then Buddy 1 grasps Buddy 2's coat at the shoulders and pulls the coat down and away from him, ensuring that the black part of the coat is not touched. Buddy 1 lays the coat on the ground, black side up. Buddy 1 unfastens Buddy 2's hook and pile fastener at the waistband, unfastens the two front closure snaps, and opens the fly side fastener on the front of the trousers. Buddy 1 grasps Buddy 2's trousers at the hips and pulls them down to Buddy 2's knees. Buddy 1 instructs Buddy 2 to lift one leg, with the foot pointed down and bent slightly at the knee for stability. Buddy 1 grasps the trouser leg near Buddy 2's elevated foot, with a hand on each side, and pulls the trouser leg in an alternating motion until Buddy 2 can step out of it. Repeat the process for the other leg. Buddy 1 discards the trousers. Buddy 1 pulls off Buddy 2's overboots, one overboot at a time, and Buddy 2 steps directly onto the coat spread on the ground as each foot is withdrawn from the overboot. Buddy 1 discards the overboot. Buddy 2 holds the fingertips of their gloves and partially slides them out. When the fingers of both hands are free, he holds his arms away from his body and lets the gloves drop off, away from the black side of the coat. Buddy 2 removes the glove liners. Buddy 1 discards the chemical protective gloves and liners. Buddy 1 will open a package containing the new trousers and coat without touching the inside of the package. Buddy 2 will then put on new chemical protective overgarments. Buddy 1 and Buddy 2 reverse rolls and repeat steps 2 through 8.